the one and only Dolly Parton will be performing the halftime show at the Dallas Cowboys Washington Commanders game tomorrow. The country music legend will be part of the Salvation Army's Red Kettle kickoff fundraiser. When Dolly is not singing, she's giving back in a number of other ways through her Dollywood Foundation. Her reach is now impacting kids right here in Maine. Alyssa Thurlow tells us how. Growing up in a small town in Maine, I could pick up a book and I could escape and I could go anywhere I wanted. Erica Spencer knows just how important literacy is to kids. She's celebrating 10 years as the fifth and sixth grade ELA teacher at Dr. Lewis S. Libby School in Milford. Last February, her uncle John reached out to her, stating he wanted to help kids here in Penobscot County get books into their homes. That's when the nonprofit My First Bookshelf took off. Everybody does get the little engine that could. That's our welcome book. Spencer, along with her other co-founders, have partnered with the Dollywood Foundation to provide Penobscot County children from birth to age five with books that are delivered right to their door. They get one book every month. So ideally, if you sign your child up at birth and they go to age five in the program, they'll have 60 books. The Dollywood Foundation was founded by American icon Dolly Parton in 1988. In 1995, Dolly launched Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, which now operates in five countries. Everybody knows she's a famous country singer. She's obviously that, but she also really cares about kids and literacy. If you read her story, her dad grew up, he wasn't able to read, and the Tennessee county that she grew up in is very similar to Penobscot County, so it just made sense to start the program here. The nonprofit pays for the books and helps register kids for the program. Each book that children receive each month is handpicked by Dolly. It's truly a surprise when your child gets their mail every month. Dolly predicts that you'll serve about 400 kids in your first year. We hit that within the first four weeks. We're just under 2,000 kiddos. We have sent over 6,000 books to children at this point. The state of Maine recently announced that they will be partnering with other local Imagination Library affiliates, helping share costs. With that funding, we're hoping we can just get even bigger and serve more children. Alyssa Thurlow, WABI-TV5 News, Milford.